Hallelujah. better not mess with you. Nobody ought to bother you. God was there and because God was in his life, the whole world took note of Hezekiah. He and the nation of Judah were the talk of all of the world. Did you hear about what God did for the Jews? Did you hear what God did for Hezekiah? The next powerful world nation after the Assyrians was the Babylonians. The Babylonians heard about what God was doing for Hezekiah. They especially heard about what God had done to that sundial. Because the Babylonian supreme God was Ra, the God of the sun. They worshiped the sun. They believed in the sun. But if Hezekiah's God could make their God go backwards, they wanted to know more about this thing that God had done. And so a group of them traveled to Jerusalem to visit Hezekiah. Hezekiah was so caught up in his newfound notoriety, he was so impressed that they were impressed. The Bible says the ambassadors of the princes of Babylon were sent to inquire about the wonder that was done in the land. And when they came to inquire about the wonder, God withdrew from him in order to test him that he might that they might know, that God might know all that was in his heart. What they wanted to hear was about the wonder. Will you tell folk, tell your neighbor next door, that listen, what God wants to hear is about the wonder. What people want to hear is about the wonder. I want to hear about how much money you got. I want to hear about your car, your house, your clothes. Matter of fact, they don't want to hear about you at all. You talk about yourself too much. Uh -huh. People get tired of you real quickly when the subject of every conversation is you. Can I preach today? 